Let's look you into the, scale of yours and let's the Wizard's Vault. Welcome to the Wizard's Vault. Help out the Wizard's Tower by completing various Wizard's Vault objectives to support your gameplay. By completing daily, weekly, and special objectives, you can earn Astral Acclaim to obtain exclusive Astral Rewards from the Wizards. If you miss out on any Astral Rewards, check out the Legacy Rewards where you can acquire previous rewards to expand your collection. Alright, so this is the new system to get rewarded for playing the game, gamers. So, for those who are watching over here from YouTube, the new daily system has been taken away. No longer do you have this system anymore. In fact, this is probably the last time I'm getting this uh, chest. So this system used to be how you'd log into the game and get rewarded for logging in. That changes now after the system. Uh, and if you ever you know, get your last chest, whatever day you've gotten it on the old system, this will no longer happen anymore. Going forward, all rewards you get for logging into the game come from the wizard's vault. Now, you don't get items that you normally get in the daily login system, like Tomes of Knowledge, Laurels, uh, Transmutation Charges, like something from the Black Lion Chest Goods, Essence Luck, Mystic Coins. Instead, when you log in now to the Guild Wars 2 uh, game, you will get 5 Astral Acclaim, a new currency that you will use to then... Uh, spend on things that you would like to be rewarded for. So you're basically getting sort of a, 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 an extra step. Instead of getting something, you'll get a currency, which then you could use to spend on something that you do want. So that is the new system. Uh, you play the game and complete objectives. So you can actually, interestingly enough, tick on the stuff that you want. So for example, if you only want PvE objectives, you'll only get PvE. If you want PvP, only PvP. If you want World vs. World, only World vs. World. Or if you'd like a mix of all of them, you could just select all of them and you'll get objectives for everything. So, for example, me, I'm going to, let's say, select all of them for now. Confirm. All right. Done. All right. So now that this is the system, this is the objectives tab right here. So you could look at daily, weekly objectives, and special objectives. So the daily objectives, right forward. Straightforward, log in, you get five astral acclaims. Uh, you can click here to claim the reward. There you go. So we get five astral acclaim, and that also goes up here. It just, yep, it stores it for you. Now, capture one sentry point in World vs. World, you get again more astral acclaim. So, pretty much, you're always receiving the, the currency. Okay. So, view a vista in the Horn of Maguma. We're going to do that later in the map. We'll get another one. Complete one PvP uh, battle. Uh, and then, if you finish the dailies, all four of them, you can take. You get a Wizard's Vault daily completion chest. So, that gives you, right now, I don't know if this changed, but for now, this is what we're looking at. Contains one Essence of Luck, one Gold, 30 Astral Acclaims. Uh, and that's the daily objective for or the daily completion today. Maybe this changes every day. Who knows? But right now, today, we're getting one essence of luck, one gold, and 30 of the currency. Weekly, you get even bigger things. Wizard's Vault Weekly Completion Chest. You get 10 laurels, one celebration booster, one tome of knowledge, and 450 astral acclaim. Of course, the weekly objectives, a little bit long term, so obviously, it will take a while. But for example, in World vs. World, capture 10 runes or shrines or camps. Capture 5 towers in World vs. World, which honestly could be done in like a day. Uh, complete a specific meta event. For example, this one is Gyal Delve right now for the weekly one. Kill 100 Awakened. Defeat 3 enemies while defending a capture point in PvP conquest matches. Earn 1000 PvP rank points. Earn 10,000 World vs. World experience. Win three structured PvP rated games. So, yeah, long term, a bit more in the weekly. Some of them could be done in a day. Like, you could do this one in one day, uh, tower one day. So, you know, you get access to this, for example. And then, again, who knows if this changes. But right now, this is what you're getting from the weekly reward. Now, we have special. Special is interesting. Um... This one is more achievement focused. I, I don't... Yeah, more chapter and different, actually. I, I, I guess it's just different. It's just a, a bunch of mix of things, to be honest. Complete the new and new friend achievement. 300. Complete the story chapter. Treachery. 
Uh, this one right now happens to be in Secrets of the Obscure. Ride LA line using a Griffin or Sky Scale. I mean, yeah, once you have the mastery for that, you could do that. View 12 different vistas in the Horn of Maguma, which is, again, a new map in Secrets of the Obscure. And then you'll get more as well. That's it. That's what you do. So for daily, weekly, and special. And all of the Astral Acclaim gets saved over here. Now, Astral Rewards. This is what you could spend them on. All right. So then we also have Legacy Rewards. Legacy Rewards, basically, whatever you miss in a cycle. So the way they're explaining it is every two to three months, a new cycle comes in. So basically, like a new season of the Battle Pass comes in for the Wizard's Vault. And anything that you miss from the current cycle goes into the legacy reward. So even if you can't get it in the first two to three months of whatever is available, it will be stored in the legacy rewards for a slightly increased cost for Astral Acclaim. But that does mean that you can get these rewards at your pace at any time if you can't for some reason in the first two to three months of the season. So right now, these are the rewards you could spend them on. So let's see, we have Slash Bless Emote. We have uh, Sanctified Weapon Selection Box. Can we view them? Yes, you can view them. This is what it looks like. Example, let's look what this looks like. Quite interesting. Very nice. Okay. So this is what we're looking at. You can actually view, the, view them as well. Can you actually view this? I guess you can't... Of course, this is Nemo. You can't really view it. Uh, sanctified Shoulder Skin. Again, you can also view that. Uh, enchanted Owl Griffin Skin. So these are what you can do right now. And of course, you also have a lot of these. So you could actually buy large materials. So you could actually pretty much get a lot of value of this from what you normally would spend your laurels on uh, on the vendors you know a lot of people used to take their daily uh, laurel gatherings from the daily uh, logins from alt of course farming and they'd buy a lot of these bags if they wanted t6 materials or a bunch of other stuff uh so 40 astral crafting bags that's actually not a lot i'm actually going to talk about another video of what i actually think about the wizard's vault and also a more detailed money making uh, guide in the wizard's vault what i think are the best money makers so far and that will be coming out a later date. But for now, we're just kind of going through all of this. Transmutation charges. Uh, Blackline Mastery Coffer. Contains a random elixir of mastery for one of the mastery regions, not including... Oh, okay. So that actually is very helpful. That's very helpful, actually, indeed. 95 revive orbs as well. Uh, we have... Legendary Starter Kit. This is actually a very interesting one. It actually costs a thousand Astral Acclaim, which I'm very glad is very expensive. Because uh, this is a very tricky one, which I'll talk about in a later video. Double click to choose from a select list of Legendary Weapon Starter Kits. All contents are account bound on acquisition. Oh, that's huge. It's account bound. So you get Starter Kit Quip. So this kit contains a Kanban precursor weapon, a gift of might or magic, and a themed legendary gift. This is literally like my legendary starter kit that I just did. I literally am doing this exact giveaway right now for the release of the game. Oh my god, look, legendary starter kit, gift of might and magic, except I'm actually giving 50 Mystic Coins, 500 Ecto. So that tells you that I am the true Wizard's Vault. Guild M is the Wizard's Vault, you know, I have the better one. But yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, enough memeing. Enough, enough memeing. All right, so not bad, actually. Uh, I'm actually very glad it's account bound. That solves a lot of problems. Uh, so pretty much it's the same, except you can get to pick which precursor you want. However, they're account bound on acquire. So that is a huge distinction. You cannot sell these items when you buy them. They're literally just bound to your account, and that's it. The Bifrost... And then you also have Bolt as well. So there you go. So that is the starter kit. You get a gift of might, a gift of magic, and a precursor to help you. And all contents are account bound. That's actually huge, uh, which I'll talk about later. Uh, bags of coin. You get one gold. So, yeah. Get one gold for 30 Astral Acclaim. 
So this actually is very interesting because that tells you more or less how much the value of Astro. We know that 30 Astro claim equals one gold. It's pretty much a very standard, easy, one-to-one, -one direct exchange, uh, cur currency exchange. So uh, this will set up also a lot of money-making uh, videos that I could foresee as well uh, about what would be the best way to get Australia claim to get gold if you want raw gold directly. Vision crystal, which is a very useful crafting item, which usually requires a lot of items. Uh, essence, lesser essence of gold, which is more like a percentage increase to your account gold find. Bag of coins, uh, one gold. Uh, what's the difference between bag of coins and bag of coins here? This one is six only. Uh, one gold. And then this one is one gold, but 30. Is there a difference? 90 available. Oh, so there is a cap, I think. Something like that. 90 per season. You can, yeah. Oh, so that's also interesting. You can't buy the Legendary Star Ticket if you don't have Secret of Obscure. That is a very important piece of information. So that is also very important. Uh, but only X amount of times per season. So that's actually honestly very good on them you you know more gold in the economy um trading post does very well cleaning it out however you want to be very tricky with this you know very careful with this so 90 is not bad in the season that's 90 gold that you can get at any given time if you finish it the season is two to three months so in the grand scheme of things it's not gonna be too much you, you can't basically abuse it however 90 gold is a big cushion for yourself right uh, you can get Mystic Coins directly, 60 available every season. And this is probably why the Mystic Coins have gone down in price. Eight Tomes of Knowledge. Uh, heavy Crafting Bags, of course. Again, uh, only a few. Uh, a Countbound and Acquire. I should note that this is also a Countbound and Acquire. Uh, this one, I guess, is sellable because it doesn't say it's a Countbound and Acquire. You could buy Build Storage. This is huge. So instead of gems, you could literally just get a Build Storage expansion playing the game mystic clovers is huge for legendary and you have you know just random skins like this sanctified you know boot skins bag of laurels again there's a certain limitation that you can get um ascended weapon chest this is kind of nice ascended armor chest this is nice you can only get three at a time uh and then the gloves you can get also these gloves so that is pretty much most of it. A build, build template expa uh, expansion and obsidian shards. Some of them. Some of these are limited availability. However, they're actually quite generous with the amount that you can get. You can get 150 bags of laurels. So 150 laurels per season is a pretty nice amount. Um, like if we add it up, I think what you get in total laurels from the current daily system is Guild Wars 2 login system. So this is what you get in a typical login cycle, which is 28 days. You get 35 or 55 laurels if you choose the chest of loyalty. Basically, if you select the, the big bag of laurels from the chest of loyalty. Uh, so you get if, if you assume you get 55 um, and you multiply that by two months, right? That's 110. So let's say by three months, if a season is three months, that's 165. Right? That's assuming that you only take the big laurel bag at the end of the regular login cycle, the old system. Right? In the new system, however, you get 150 at whatever pace that you finish it, right? In the season. So that's two to three months. It actually is better value for you in the new system. Um, because it's it's pretty much you can choose the currencies and the points. You don't you're not limited to only having a select option every 28 days. So it's actually better in the new system. So that is the reward system, more or less, in a nutshell. Uh, objectives as well that we go through. And of course, legacy rewards are more or less everything that you miss in the cycle in two to three months season. Just gets stored here at a bigger price. Um, that and that's pretty much it. And I'm assuming that these all go into rotation. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the Wizard's Vault right now. Uh, you can access this by having a level 80 character. However, there are some limitations if you don't have Secrets of Obscure. So yeah, if you want the full access to every reward that you can possibly get to get you a head start like the Legendary Starter Kit, you will need Secrets of the Obscure. 
I will be talking about money makers on the Wizards Vault at a later day, maybe later in the week as we get more familiar with it. So stay tuned for that video. But for now, that's the Wizards Vault, gamers. So yeah, we're right now in Wizards uh, in the Wizards area in Secrets of the Obscure expansion. We're right here. We're exploring stuff. So yeah, check us out. But until then, YouTube, I will see you when I see you. Take care.